Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to upload the program from an Allen Bradley 440C-CR30 safety PLC. In this video, we will be using our safety trainer. Also, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. Now, before we even start, let's make sure we remember that the purpose of this is really to help us understand how safety PLCs work and how we can troubleshoot them. This is not how to design a safety system. But let's go ahead and go into the Connected Components Workbench software, which is the same software we've been using in our Micro 800 series. And if you need help downloading it, look down in the description. I'll have a link to how to do that. Now, the link I have is to a Micro 800 video, but the download procedure is exactly the same. It's the same software if you're using it or the same software actually for the PowerFlex Drive and the PanelView 800 series. So it's a very versatile software. It kind of stumps you at first if you go the way that you would think you would, is if I just open up a new copy of Connected Components Workbench and I click the Discover button, you'd think that you'd just be able to go to our Ethernet IP driver and select the CR30 PLC and click OK. But you see we get failed to connect to device and it tells us the IP address Verify the connection is active and the device is supported. Well, it is supported, but this way doesn't work. So I'll show you how you can do it. Is what we're going to do is we're going to create a new program and we'll just call this our CR30 upload. And we're going to create it. And then it's going to ask us to select our device and typically we're usually going into the controllers and probably selecting one of these micro 800 some of them we're doing the graphics but we haven't talked about you have this safety area right here and in it we have the 440c safety relays and if we open that up there it's the only option is this 440c cr30 22 bbb and i'm going to select it and add to project and then we're gonna open it up and right there is the upload button. Now guys, it doesn't matter how much I stress this, somebody still does it, is we upload programs from the PLC to our PC. We download programs from the PC to our PLC. It is the opposite of the internet. So make sure you know which way you wanna go. So we are gonna upload our program and then we'll navigate to the exact same spot that we just failed with. And we're gonna select okay. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna upload from safety relay to replace the current project contents? Now, even there, let's make sure we read it because it does, if you read it, it says upload from the safety relay because that's the way we wanna go is from the safety relay. So this is what we wanna do. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our program, so we can save it, back it up, or in some future videos, we'll probably even edit it. But the big takeaway here, guys, is let's make sure we remember that we upload from our PLC to our PC. We download from our PC to our PLC. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please can hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.